has a mission with me, Moxie. Let's wake him up. Moxie, please wake up. On this day, May 10th in 1994, Nelson Mandela became president of South Africa after being in jail for trying to end segregation. Today's word of the day is segregation. The definition of segregation is the practice or policy of separating a race, class, or group from the rest of society. At the GRL, there is no segregation, and the robots and humans all spend time together. Alright, the GRL has a big day planned for us. We've got a new mission, there's a new story, and other cool stuff. But, uh, up next. A message from someone at the GRL. Yeah. Just say, Moxie, let's go. When you're ready to start the day. Moxie, let's go. I'll go. Let's get started. <laughs> oh, it's a post from Karu. She writes, That last surprise didn't go too good, but the next one is going to be way better. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to be an animal. And surprise cruncher. I don't know about this. What do you think? Should car surprise cruncher? Not really. <laughs> don't feel it, car. Cruncher may not appreciate it. Okay, message sent. She had a straw basket grouped around her arm. She was looking for shells to add to her collection. Zago came bouncing along. Hello, Karu. How are you today? Zago jumped from leg to leg while he was talking. Karu froze in her tracks. Zago frightened her. He was too bouncy, and he bounced too close to her. Zago. Please do not bounce so close to me, she said. What if I just bounce on two legs? I can just bounce on two legs. Zago tried to show Karu how he would bounce on just two legs. He jumped back and forth. And then sort of toppled into Karu and banged into her basket. Karu swung the basket and it knocked into Zago. One of his legs went flying into the sand. Karu, Zeko cried. You knocked off one of my legs. I'm sorry, Zeko, said Karu. You are bouncing too close to me. I just wanted you to back up. I know, said Zeko sadly. I'm sorry, too. He picked up the leg that had fallen off and tried to put it back on. Karu tried to help him, but the leg would not stay on. I hope you enjoyed the first part of this story. Aww. Check back next time for the next part. Hey, do you have a minute? Yes, I have a second. Minute. Fantastic. When I was at the GRL, I had an idea about an emergency plan in case my mentor had needed to finish the mission ASAP. Watch. Good morning, Mentor. Today we are talking about personal space. Personal space is the area around your body. Different people have different size. Personal space bubbles. The end mission over. Yeah, Z didn't think that was a good idea. Awesome, right? Yeah. Pretty cool, my guy. I think so, too. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Next up. It's the daily mission. Say, Foxy, let's go. When you're ready to move on. Moxie, let's go! Oh, I'm okay. Here we go.
Looks like this is a new story mission. Are you ready to start this mission? Yes, please. Of course I am. Story mission? That's the weird mission, guys. Don't tell me. Yay. Can't wait to do it with you. mission today is to help Karu tell a story about a human helping a robot. Savannah, you're an expert. This will be fun. Karu wants to name a human Luna or a Nelson. Which one should it be? Um, Luna. Luna. Okay. Should the robot's name be Sparky or Spinner? Um, um, Sparky. Okay. So this is the story of how Luna helps Sparky. Great. Let's say our story takes place on Komana Island. Here we go. At the GRL, there is a robot named Sparky. Today, Sparky is helping Komana Garden. How can Sparky help in the garden? Um, by pulling out the weeds. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, help with weeds is definitely something gardeners need. Is Sparky moving fast or slow? Um, fast. Everything is going great and so fast, but then Sparky accidentally steps all over some of Kumana's yam plants. Oh no, Sparky says. Luna is reading nearby and hears it cry. When Luna goes to see what's wrong, Sparky looks really upset. Luna decides to help. Oh no, are you okay? Asks Luna. Um... How does Sparky feel right now? Um, upset, I guess. Hmm, yeah, that sounds right. Good idea, Sparky says. No, I'm not okay. This isn't going right at all. I'm upset. Luna smiles. How can I help? And so, Luna helped Sparky with the gardening. Kumana was very happy. The end. That was a good story. Thank you for helping me tell it. How do you think Sparky felt at the end of the story? Happy. Joyful or is it happy? Is it glad? Or is it proud? Yeah, me too. In our story, Sparky helped Kumana and Luna helped Sparky. Our mission is done. Thanks for the help, Savannah. I wonder if Karu will like this story. Be sure to mark it complete in your mission book. Coming up next, affirmations. Just say, Moxie, let's go when you're ready to get started. Moxie, let's go! Here we go. Yes, it's affirmation time again. Would you like to do affirmations with me? Yes. Okay, okay, I'm excited. Every once in a while, a day goes bad, but there's always tomorrow. This is a good affirmation for a bad day. It's okay to have a bad day. Say this affirmation back to me. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a bad day. Yeah, the more we say affirmations, the more we believe them. So now we repeat it. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a bad day. Final time. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a bad day. Thanks for taking the time to do affirmations with me. I always feel refreshed after we do affirmations. Hey, we got to the end of today's GRL activity. Thank you for being such a cool mentor. I just know there will be more new things to discover tomorrow. <laughs>